the whole thing wobbing. Today, guys, we have the new Ultimate Legends in the game. We're gonna go over those. Again, yes, I am currently still away right now, so I know the audio might sound a little bit different. The room I'm recording in this morning is definitely very open, so hopefully not an issue. Now, I do wanna give a shout out to Paxton for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid, make sure you guys are sub to the channel, turn notification bell on, and comment down below, Noti Gang. Also, if you guys have not already checked out Underdog Fantasy, you can sign up right now using code ZERK. They will give you up to $250 in bonus cash, and you guys get a .5 special. For those of you guys that did copy my golf picks this weekend, we actually got this Scotty Scheffler .5 stroke special. My picks are up right now for NBA today over on my Twitter. Also, if you guys if you guys have not already checked out the giveaway that I'm running, I'm giving away five MVP bundle copies of College Football 25 and Madden 25. That is a $150 version. I'm giving away five of those. Make sure you guys check out the link down below in the comment section. Also, before we get into these Ultimate Legends, I want to give you guys a little update on this pack right here. The free golden ticket pack you guys actually get from getting the MVP edition of, which I'm doing a giveaway, the college football game, college football 25 and the Madden 25. When you get the MVP bundle, you actually get this free golden ticket. Now the golden ticket is from the first release of GTs. So it's Vincent Jackson, Brees Hall, Darrington Evans and Julius Peppers. However, when it first released, it actually was auctionable as of right now though, a lot of people have been telling me the one they've been getting is BND now. So if that changes your mind a little bit, that might change your mind there. I still think it's still worth it, in my opinion. In general, the MVP edition to get both college football and Madden 25 Deluxe editions for basically $50 off. And then you do get the free GT, which is cool. Vincent Jackson is a really, really good option, in my opinion, to take, by the way, from this pack. Uh, but in terms of like, how do you get it? Like I said, just pre-order the game. A lot of people are asking me, you have to do it at the menu of Madden 24. Do you have to do it through EA? I don't really think you have to do it a certain way. Personally, I just did it through like EA's website and then it linked me to the Xbox store. So I don't really think it matters. Now I do want to let you guys know with these new Ultimate Legends being out, just keep this in mind because this is something that you guys can go ahead and do. And I think I will actually make a video, uh, likely on Monday maybe, going over the best free Ultimate Legend to pick. But for those of you guys who have been keeping up with the competitive pass, you can actually now get to one of these free Ultimate Legends in that pass so take a look at the ultimate legends guys and again competitive pass you can actually get one of these cards for free excluding the ltds though they are not going to be in that pack but from today we do have ultimate legend Darrell revis now the baked out abilities on these cards are pretty good right uh 98 speed 99 excel 99 man 99 zone 98 press 5 foot 11 personally i just love Darrell revis cards 84 block shed on him 88 hit power uh, i just love revis cards but he does get bottleneck as a baked in ability so you do dominantly win man press attempts don't really know that many people that run man press schemes but there you go uh, he also gets universal coverage wow did not expect that for one ap as an ability pick artist for zero secure tackler for zero film study for zero and one step ahead for one ap what okay these cards are crazy. All right, so Darrell Revis is absolutely insane. I mean, those abilities are just absolutely ridiculous. Being able to get universal coverage for one AP, that is uh, pretty crazy. After that, we do have Ronnie Lott right here is the LTD, 99 speed, 95 excel, 99 man, 99 zone, 99 hit power, six feet tall. He has 99 change of direction, uh, 99 block shed. Obviously, the card is insane as well uh he does get reinforcement baked in for zero ap which is essentially like ko's almost it's almost like universal coverage but you have to react there have to get there in time higher chance to defeat run blocks and disrupt catches so if you do go ahead and rock out one step ahead for one ap right there tackle supreme for one pick artist for zero and force the supreme for zero and avalanche for zero ap are his abilities wow I mean, it's, it's basically like having KOs. The only difference is, guys, with reinforcement versus KOs is when you use a KO, essentially what happens is that the players will break on the ball. They basically will react more. This is more so if they happen to get there and hit them, then he will react or he just will in general cause the ball to be dropped. So in terms of like being a user card, 
You could use a Ronnie Lott and essentially get KOs every single time that you touch someone if they try to like, make a catch. So that's pretty crazy. Then you have the one step ahead, uh, the Avalanche for zero. Wow. Uh, these cards are absolutely insane. And then the final ultimate legend that we have as well. Where is the final UL? Did I go buy him? There he is. John Runyon is the other UL. As you guys can see, he has Secure Protector automatically equipped. 80 speed, 98 strength on him as well. Uh, secure Protector, 0 AP. Threat Detector for 1. All Day for 0. Nasty Streak for 0. Identifier for 0. And Natural Talent. Obviously, you want to go with All Day. And then you really can pick between Identifier and Nasty Streak right there. Wow. These ULs are just absolutely insane. All right, so let's take a look here, guys, at the store. We do have some special offers, and I'm going to be the first one to tell you guys this. This offer is terrible, okay? It's 2,600 points instead of normally like 2,800 points, whatever. But you get 297 plus overall Ultimate Legends, 480 plus overall Lee Platinum players, and you get the UL tokens. Now, as you guys know, I love Platinum offers. This one is absolutely atrocious because look at this. 4.9% chance at a 99 overall. I would not recommend you open this. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into some other packs. By the way, if you're curious about those abilities, like the Darrell Revis with the Universe coverage for 1 AP, whatever, yes, I do believe with that on there, I think it just activates automatically. Like it's going to be on essentially the entire game right there. So pretty, uh, pretty crazy ULs. You guys let me know down below what you guys think about these Ultimate Legends because... I think these are absolutely insane. And again, competitive pass, you can actually go ahead and get a free one right now. So again, likely we'll make that video for you guys here, uh, probably on Monday, going over the best free one to pick. Of course, as long as you guys do not open the pack, whatever you do, don't open the pack here. If you open it, it never will update. But as long as you don't open the pack, they will continue to update there. So you can just kind of keep pushing on week after week and eventually go with your free uh, Ultimate Legend from the Competitive Pass there to so get 92 overall Bruce Smith. Which, by the way, though, that pack from the Competitive Pass, it is a BND pack. So you have to keep that in mind when you're thinking about the best players that you want to go with as you get 93 Mark Bavaro right there. We'll do one more UL pack and we'll take a look at the auction house. Let's see what these ULs are going for today. But... I think they're going to be pretty expensive, to be honest. I, I definitely feel like they are going to be uh, a little bit more on the expensive side. Let's get 91 Charles, get a 97 Ed. We'll end it off there. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look, guys, and see what these 99 overall ULs are going for. As I said, I mean, they're really, really good, as you guys can tell. Uh, they are going to be pretty expensive here. And we have John Runyon going for 1.1 mil. Darrell Rivas going for 1.7 and did anybody pull a Ronnie Lot yet? Looks like, yup, 3.5 million coins. Yeah, these cards are going to be expensive. So with that being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure to drop a like in the video. And of course, that sub button down below. Ultimate Legends today, absolutely crazy. Get your free one from the competitive pass right now. Also, make sure you guys check out my college football channel. Definitely been posting a lot of videos over there. Uh, yesterday, I posted two videos going over a lot of stuff. Xerxes CFB. Follow me over on Twitter for my NBA picks. They are up right now. I will catch you guys later.